I'm Dominique Lavignier, your Bakersfield neighborhood reporter. Sunday marks the five year death anniversary of Alejandro Vargas, who was hit by a car and killed here in East Bakersfield. And as his family remembers him, they will host a community event on Sunday, which they say will represent his love to serve those in need. Giselle Vargas says this moment in the car with her brother Alejandro Vargas is her favorite. We were in the car and he was taking a video. He was like, I'm with my princess. He would call me his princess and it was like, I loved whenever he would call me that because like, he was my favorite brother. But once again in the car, she recalls her worst memory. The night she drove with her family to Nile Street, where Alejandro was hit by a vehicle. It was so quiet. No one was talking. Alvin was crying. I was just like looking outside the window, like thinking, what happened to my brother? Alejandro died on June 30th, 2019, at 13 years old. To celebrate his 16th birthday, Alejandro's mom, Josie Rosel, held an event to feed families and homeless people at Beach Park because she says it's something her son loved to do. He was always like, Mom, this, oh, give a dollar to that person right there in the corner. I'm like, no, I can't. Like, I barely have it. He goes, Mom, please. And so, you know, he would convince me, and i do it. After that event, Rosel says she donated the leftovers to a local homeless shelter and made it her mission to one day feed the entire shelter for her son. And we're so grateful that her son, you know, really chose to give back at such a young age because we don't see that all the time. Lauren Skidmore, the CEO of the Open Door Network, tells me a study conducted with California State University Bakersfield shows in 2023, the 350 volunteers with the network contributed more than $900,000 worth of volunteer hours. We couldn't do what we do every day without the community supporting us. On Sunday, Rosel says they're feeding all 250 people living at the homeless shelter. So my dream from four years ago is coming true. And so I feel very, very blessed in the memory of him that he's making this happen. These are the shoes he was actually wearing. And on the fifth anniversary of his passing, it's a chance to give back, just like her brother did. My brother would have loved this, like, because he loved helping the homeless, like, loved. Like, if he was here right now, he would have been really, really happy for us. You can attend the event at 5 p.m. on Saturday at the Bakersfield Homeless Center. For 23ABC News, I'm Dominique Lavigne, your Bakersfield neighborhood reporter.